What am I doing? <laughs> Practicing my breathing looks odd. Of course it does, but it's super important to practice. But I don't have to practice. Breathing's involuntary. What if I told you you've got breathing zones? You wouldn't know that. Well, you're so caught up with your FTP and your heart rate zones and your speed, quite rightly, but you can impact on the way that you breathe that will have an effect on the opportunity to get more air into your lungs. And also your breathing and how you breathe at different zones can give you a clear indication of what zone you're in without a power meter or even a heart rate monitor. Yeah, let me show you in this video. Okay, so when it comes to breathing, yes, I'm talking about your mouth and your nose as the main ways that you're getting air into your lungs. Now, both are used in the day. Yes, agreed, but more often than not, most of us will flip to mouth breathing, in and out. Nobody's sitting in the office or at home telling you not to do it. Well, unless you're quite a noisy mouth breather and you snore and your wife's putting up a... No, let's not go down that road. But the fact is, the atmospheric air has got that 20% oxygen and it's that oxygen we're trying to get to basically the working muscles via the lungs and the heart, etc. So there are lots of other metrics involved, but in this simple video, let's just talk about breathing, getting the air into the lungs. So nasal breathing has got a couple of differences to mouth breathing. Let's go back to high school quickly. It's going to filter the air better. Yes, I've got more nose hair than I have head hair. <laughs> Maybe you're the same. But that whole filtration, hmm, healthier? Yeah, cleaner? Yeah, possibly. It will moisten, humidify, and it will heat up the air. That helps with its movement. Now also, let's think about the breathing in and out action. When we breathe through our mouth, we don't actually increase the chest ca capacity to, to its maximum. When we breathe through our nose, we actually engage the respiratory muscles longer, deeper. So we give the lungs a better workout. Those respiratory muscles between the ribs, those intercostal muscles, get a workout every time the chest moves. So yes, all workouts will do that. But as we breathe through our nose, we can become very, very inflated. By doing that, we give ourselves the opportunity to have more air in. This can increase the diffusion of oxygen into the bloodstream, etc. Okay? So it's surely worth practicing if the magical product is not power, is not miles per hour. It's all about oxygen into the system. So you're doing your training to improve the metrics of your hemoglobin, alveoli, your red blood cell count, all those other things. But actually delivering the main product may be a limiting factor for a lot of people. I see a lot. They don't do any breathing drills or they're not aware of what's happening on the bike when they're doing different zones. So let me drill in a little test that you can do that I mean it could change the way that you train overnight. Jump on the bike. Let's talk about breathing and the different zones. So what will happen in zone two when you're really trying to focus on a heart rate response? You're below that 83% of FTHR. You should and must try and breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, okay? Now you don't have to do it every breath to start with, but the idea of being able to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth will indicate that you are not close to VT1. You're not going over that point where breathing is starting to escalate as lactic acid builds up. That's when you start to enter zone three and four. Now it's not, you know, an accurate science. It's something I've used over the last 30 years, but it works. As soon as you cannot supply the lungs with the air from your nose, you're moving into that slightly higher intensity. Now it may just be every third or fourth or fifth breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. But that ability to stay relaxed, and that's a key thing because controlled breathing will help with relaxation. So maybe even off the bike, that's one of your practices. You just sit in a room, turn the TV off, and practice that deep breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. You may do it already as some form of meditation or relaxation technique. As soon as you feel yourself 
starting to breathe through your mouth, you're out of zone two. You can't do your talking, you can't do your singing, you've moved. So don't let your ego force you to go at a particular speed that takes away from the beauty of that controlled breathing. It's that simple and it's a really good little test. Now, what I would then do, extension of that workout is, as you breathe through your nose and out through your mouth, maybe every fifth breath, you hold it, okay? So you breathe in through your nose, and you hold it for maybe two seconds, and then you breathe out. So you trap that air inside your lungs, and you give those little alveoli a better chance of sucking out that oxygen. Now, you're not gonna hold it too long, but you're making sure that you're in that controlled slow speed, and it is a really good habit to get into to help the delivery of that key gas, oxygen, to the working muscles. Everybody's fascinated by FTP, speed, KOMs. We forget about the fundamental basic aspect of breathing. Hey, I want you to try that because over the next few videos, I'm gonna be sharing more tips about breathing that involve the cold water showers. They involve holding your head underwater, other breathing tips you can do when you're out on the bike, and guess what else? If your body posture or your bike fit is slightly out and you're over tensing the upper half of your body, your breathing is massively impacted as well, okay? Lots to share, lots of knowledge to give you and tips and tricks. So don't forget I'm live every Monday, 7 p.m. GMT time, where you might become the star of the show if you've got a question. Lots of other platforms to share and I'll put the links in the description, Instagram, even on TikTok now, yeah. <laughs> hey, you stay safe, keep smiling, keep breathing, obviously. Practice that nasal breathing. I don't want to know about how many nose hairs you've got, but you enjoy your spin next time you're out. But think about that oxygen and how you can increase getting it in there. Take care, I'll speak to you soon.